What's up guys, welcome to your 120th Android tutorial for the new boss and what we're going to do in this tutorial, we're basically going to finish up this get data method here um, because we did set up our columns array uh, which has all of our columns in our database and now we want to read some information from those columns and we basically read information through something called a cursor uh, so we're going to set a cursor up and we're just going to set this cursor to be C and hit equal and how we do um, or how we read from our database is again our open method here we have our database helper and then we create our database here from our helper uh, that's that's writable for the most part so we're going to refer to our database um, so we're going to say our database and the cursor will allow us to uh, again read from this uh, so we just hit dot and <clears throat> query excuse me um, hit that and then uh, the first parameter um, yeah we have a lot of parameters that we have to work with the first one here is the table name so we have our database table name um, called database underscore table we're going to click that for our columns again it's just our string array that we set up here so it's going to give some information about all of our columns uh, selection everything else we're going to set to null so you don't have to worry about that for the most part um, again if you guys want a little bit more information uh, you can just hover over the query and you know read about the parameters the selection and all that stuff but for example we don't really care about that we're just gonna read from our columns so now that we have our cursor set up what we want to do is again since uh, this is gonna return a string we want to set up a string variable that's gonna return so we're gonna set up string and we're just gonna set this to result and we're just gonna initially set it to be nothing uh, for the most part and that's what we're going to return. Uh, again, when this method is called, it's going to run through here and return a string. So that's the string that we're going to return. Now what we want to do is we have our cursor and we want to kind of read th through um, all of the entries in our database. But before we do that, we need to set up three ints, uh, one for each column index for the most part. So we're going to call I row for index row and we're going to set this equal to our cursor dot and we can say get column uh, index and what this is going to do is we're going to return our key value again our key our row um, ID and that's basically going to be um, looking for that that column for the most part our cursor is going to be looking for that column and setting it equal to this end uh, now what we're going to do is we're just going to copy this and paste this for all three of our columns, change it to I uh, name and I hotness, hotness, sexy. All right, so uh, now we also have to change this to name and to hotness as well. All right, so now we want to actually get through and start reading all of our entries of our database for the most part. So what we're going to do is we're going to kind of create a for loop, which is going to start our cursor at the very beginning and then cycle through, read all the data, and kind of loop through and go to the next entry until there's no entries left. So we're going to do that with a for loop, and we want to start at the beginning. So we're going to say our cursor dot move to first so that's going to be the first row uh, and that's where our cursor is going to start then we're going to hit a, a semicolon and then we're going to say as long as it's not equal for the most part again that's our expression mark there as long as our cursor does not equal uh, C again dot is after last so we're going to use this method so if our cursor is at the position after the last entry in our database that's when it's going to stop. And then we're going to just hit semicolon and we're just going to move the cursor forward each time. So we're going to say move to next. And then open brackets. And this is where we're going to read the data. But again, just uh, I'm not sure how, if we have done for loops yet or not. Again, we're just starting our cursor at the beginning and after it reads through one time, it's going to move to the next position as long as it's not uh, the position after the last row in our database, if that makes sense. So now what we want to do is we want to set our result 
equal to the information that we're reading. So we're going to say result is equal to uh, basically result as well, which I'll explain in a second. Then we're going to say cursor, our cursor that we set up. Whoops. Cursor dot uh, get string. And then we're going to basically put the index. Um, so index row for the most part. And that's going to return the value of our row uh, that it, it's currently on. And then we're just going to hit plus and then maybe a space in quotations to give us a little space. And then again, just cursor dot get string. And we're going to say this time I name plus uh, again another space and then plus again uh, c dot get string and this last one will be i hotness all right and then we also want to say plus and then in quotations we're going to do a backslash n so now let me just talk about what this is doing uh, again we have to finish off our statement so again we're looping through each time right it starts at the beginning it's going to get basically the string of our index uh, which again is our col first column, um, our row column, uh, the ID, I'm sorry, the row ID column. Then it's going to print off a space, and then it's going to you know, get the name of the first row in our database, and also get the hotness of our first row in the database, and then it's going to create a new string. The next time it loops through, it still has the information from the previous time, so that's why we have this result here. And then it's just going to loop through to the second for the second row. Um, and now let's just check out our application, make sure it works. Again, we're returning this result that we set up here, um, but hopefully everything works here. Again, probably the most important thing for this tutorial is you use the cursor uh, to read from our database or a data uh, base, which gets the table and the columns and all that stuff. So let's just make sure application works. Scroll down. You put an entry like Jenny, and we're gonna set Jenny equal to be a nine. That's pretty good. And then we're gonna hit update database. Heck yeah. And then we're gonna hit view database. As you can see, Samantha she's about a six. Jenny's about a nine. No one can compete with me, you know. Um, I'm just kidding. But uh, yeah, it looks like our database is working. Um, that's the entry from a, a tutorial ago, uh, or a couple of tutorials ago, and it still saved it to our database. So that's pretty much it for, for this tutorial, guys. Uh, hopefully it made some sense. Hopefully you guys kind of understand SQL a little bit better than you did about 10 tutorials ago. So I'll catch you guys later, and have a good one.